in today's lecture we will be going with the gate level minimization uh, this will be uh, the last topic of this unit and also the last topic of this course that is uh, basic electronics that we are uh, going through so in gate level minimization basically we will be having a boolean function so a boolean expression is there suppose a function that is function of three different inputs a b c and suppose this function is defined in terms like it is having uh, defined in terms of mean terms so mean terms is like 0 1 4 7 so this is uh, the boolean function defined in terms of different mean terms so m uh, 0 1 4 and 7 is there that means m0 m1 m4 m7 so there are four different mean terms are there that will be summed up means m0 plus m1 plus m4 m7 this will be defining the function f so now to uh, design the circuit of this minimized function just uh, go with the expression suppose a b c d a b c are the three inputs with respect to that m0 uh, m0 mean term will be defining a bar b bar and c bar plus m1 will be defining a b a bar b bar c plus m4 will be defining a b bar c bar plus m7 will be defining a b c so this is the function uh, defined with respect to uh, different combination of input uh, variables a b c but to uh, go for circuit designing for this we will be just seeing like we can uh, go with like uh, four and gates and these four and gates will be three input and gates and then finally we will be adding with an or gate this is how we can go with the implementation of the function that means four three input and gates are required and one four input or gate is required for implementing this function f but before going for implementing a function with the help of for logic gates what we do is we minimize the given function so we will be minimizing We will be minimizing the function so what is the advantage of minimizing a function advantage is it will reduce the reduce the terms or each terms are reduce the terms or we can call it reduce the mean terms we can see also it can reduce the variables so each of the variables are called literals okay so it will be reducing the literals okay so the advantage of literal minimization is it will be reducing the variables or literals and also as it is going to reduce the mean terms or literals used it will be minimizing the or reducing the reducing gate requirement okay so whatever the number of uh, gates required to implement the circuit it will be going to minimize the number of gate re gates required to implement this function f so our main motive motive to use this gate level minimization is basically to reduce the hardware to reduce the to reduce hardware or the gates here hardware means different gates to implement the given boolean function so as the function is going to be reduced based on the mean terms or based on the literals that is going to define the function if less number of uh, variables or less number of literals are used to define the function that means we will be requiring less number of gates so our main motive is to reduce the 
number of uh, variables available into this function okay so there are different methods to uh, reduce or to minimize the uh, boolean function so one of the method is k map so in this uh, lecture basically we will be going with the k map method so k map uh, method we will be using so here in k map method we will uh, draw the truth table of this function in some other way okay so in truth table what we do is in truth table what is the function we basically give is where this function is one we write that like with respect to different input combinations what is the where is the value of function is going to be one that what uh, the truth table tells us and also tells us like at what locations this function will be zero with respect to different input combinations so key map is one of the pictorial uh, representation of our truth table only so this k map is also called as uh, Kurnop map it is Kurnop map so Kurnop map means it, in short we use it like k map if any function is defined in terms of only two variables then how the k map will be defined this a and b shows the structure of k map for defining the k map having a function of only two uh, variables so suppose a two variable is there x and y so with respect to that suppose a two table is there so two variables are there x and y so total possible combinations are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so this is the total possible combinations if two variables are there so with respect to that some value of function will be there okay so we basically going to have like whatever this function is there this functions will function will be defined only in terms of x y different combination of x y so different combination of x y is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so mean terms with respect to this will be defined like the mean terms will be m0 here the mean term will be m1 this is m2 m3 so if two variables are there the maximum mean terms possible is m0 m1 m2 and m3 m3 that means four mean terms are possible okay so these mean terms will be defined with a square box each so if there are two variables four mean terms are there so we will be having four square boxes so one uh, box will be explaining the defining the one mean term so m0 will be defining this box will be defining the m0 this means first mean term m1 will be defining the second mean term m2 will be defining the third m4 uh, m3 will be defining the fourth uh, mean term so how this mean term is has came so suppose x and y two variables are there so there is a line this make and on vertical side x has been defined and on horizontal side y has been defined so once this x will be 0 and next x will be 1 so if x is 0 means it is like it is going to define this row will be defining x bar and if x x is 1 that means it is going to define x similarly y so y is 0 that means it is going to define y bar and y is 1 that means it is going to define y so if we want to display m0 so here x bar or we can call it like x is 0 that means it is showing x bar x bar and y bar x bar and y bar is m x bar and y bar is m0 for m1 it is x bar and y for m2 it is x y bar m3 it is x y so that combination is similar we can predict here see x bar and y bar this is m0 defining x bar x bar and y x bar and y is going to define x bar x bar and y is going to define m1 so m1 is defined similarly x and y bar x and y bar so m2 will be defined so x y bar is m2 so m2 is defined similarly m3 so x and y will be defining the m3 so this is how the kmf for two variables will be defined so first uh, we will be uh, going with the how the kmap is uh, 
presented uh, how the KMIP is designed first and then we will be going with the uh, solve the question related to this two variable uh, function so next this is a KMIP for three variable so if three variables are there then how the KMIP will be defining so this is so if three variables are there suppose x y and z are there so different combinations of x y z will be 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 so that are, these are different main terms are there m0 m1 up to m7 so different main terms are there so these main terms will be defined in terms like m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 and m7 so how it came we can just see here so if three variables are there so one variable has been put on this vertical line and two variable have been put on the horizontal line so if one variable x is put on a vertical line so first we'll be defining x is equals to 0 that means it is going to define x bar x is equals to 1 that means it is going this row is going to define x similarly on the horizontal part here yz is defining defined so yz both will be considered together so yz initially it is 0 0 then from here to here if it is 0 0 means it is going to define y bar and z bar again it is 0 1 so 0 1 means it is going to define y and z y bar and z next one is 1 1 1 1 means it is going to define y z next is going to it is 1 0 so it will be defining y and z bar okay so different combinations so y z will be having different combination four different combinations as it was in the uh, two variable case different combinations so similar different combinations have been put here on the vertical side but the point you need to uh, observe here is it is 0 0 then 0 1 then it should be 1 0 then 1 1 but it is 1 1 then 1 0 so this type of coding is called this type of coding is called gray coding this is the gray code gray code means we have already seen what is gray code so in gray code only one bit will be changing between consecutive numbers so two digits are there two uh, gray codes are written so in between these two there will be only one bit change so it is 0, 0, 0, 001 so one bit has been changed so in between this only one bit will be changing so it is 0, 01 it is 10 zero. so one bit has been changed only so it is 11 one one is having changed to 10 zero. so there is only one bit change is there so this is how the grid code is defined only one bit change at a time so between two uh, consecutive numbers you can say uh, there will be only one bit changing is there so this is the advantage of gray code so gray code so this one bit change means it is going to uh, basically define like if there are two mean terms are there in between these two mean terms only one variable will be changing so one, only one literal will be changing okay so either x bar y bar and z so in between these two x bar y and z so as only y bar has been changed here to y all are same x bar and z are same in between these two any two combinations you can consider only one bit uh, will be changing okay so this is how uh, the definition of x uh, gray code is going to be uh, helping for solving the uh, minimization of different boolean function okay so now we can see if this has been defined horizontally and this is verti uh, vertically so x bar y bar z bar it is going to define m0 m1 x bar y bar z it is going to define m1 but here you can say x bar y z x bar y z means it is going to have 0 1 1 so 0 1 1 is going to define this is m2 this is m3 so here instead of direct in continuous relation 0 1 2 and 3 it is like m1 0 m0 m1 and 
m2 will be here and then m3 then from here x is 1 x is 1 y and z is 0 0 so it is 1 0 0 so it is going to have m4 okay so this is how different mean terms have been defined here so for the simplicity you can just remember like the mean terms have been defined m0 m1 m2 and m3 m4 m5 m6 and m7 okay so from here so there is a jump and shift so uh, just take note of it okay so this is very important you need to uh, take note of this like it is not in continuation it is having m0 m1 then m3 and then m2 or m0 m1 m2 then m3 this is for three variable k map similarly we will follow the k map for four variables so if four variables are there this that means if x y z suppose w is there so w x y z four variables are there so total possible combinations are from 0 0 0 to up to 1 1 1 1 that means total 16 combinations will be there so the, this first term will be representing the m0 and this is going to represent m15 so 0 to 15 that is 16 combinations so all these 16 combinations will be represented in terms of k map so with the help of k map we can see four variables are there so two variables will be put together and next two variables will, will be put together so w and x have been put together for vertical representation and yz have been put together for horizontal representation so again the representation will be 0 0 then 0 1 and then 1 1 and then 0 0 1 0 so that is going to follow the gray pattern or gray code is it is going to follow the gray code similar is here it will be also following the gray code representation so now if we combine w x y z so it is 0 0 0 0 so both are all the variables are 0 0 0 that means it is going to have w bar x bar, x bar y bar z bar so it is going to define m0 similarly m1 then m0 m1 then m2 and m3 okay again m4 m5 then m6 then m7 and after that there will be a change m8 will be defined here 9 10 and 11 then 12 13 14 and 15 so this all the mean terms you can just uh, get no need to remember also you can directly get from this uh, terms gray coding so once we have made the gray coding with respect to gray coding only the particular mean terms will be defined so suppose randomly you select this one so at this position it is x y just see this is msb this is lsp so here wx is suppose this term we want to find out so for this term wx is 00, 0 01 and at that time yz is 01 so it is 0101 0, 0, 1. this represents m5 so m5 it will be representing suppose randomly select this one so here m uh, wx is 11 11 wx is 11 this is msb side okay so this is wx is msb side w is msp then this is and z is lsb so with respect to that only we will be writing the values so yz is there so it is yz is also 11 so we will be putting y bar 11 so it is 1111 so it is representing the m15 so once you have made the coding with respect to that you can get the uh, particular mean terms so I think you have got the uh, K map how we have drawn the K map and once you have gone with the K map now we will be using the K map for solving the uh, function minimization problems. So here one more point you need to write like if a K map is there so the in K map the values the K map basically takes three different values. So that means different mean terms are there so a particular mean term is in between the function so if suppose m10 is 
going to be part of the function so suppose any function is there f it is having summation of different mean terms m0 m2 m5 m10 is there suppose if this is the function if m10 is defining the function that means for m10 mean term function f is 1 okay so function uh, function is defined it is having a value 1 in terms of when we are going to provide mean term combination like m10 so with respect to that in this k map m10 uh, box or the uh, square will be filled with 1 similarly so k map will be taking 1 or it can be filled with a 0 if m suppose m11 m11 is not in this function m11 is not there so we will be putting here 0 so in in place of m11 we will be putting 0 and there is also a term called x this x is called don't care so this is a new to you i think so don't care x is a don't care so don't care explains like if any function is there if this function does not change its value or this function has no effect has no effect by a particular mean term then we can put x that is don't care for that mean term what is explains is suppose any function is there and if this function is is having a value so for this function we can directly say like for m0 mean term the function is having one value it is for sure for m2 mean term f is having the value one it is for sure but suppose for m8 for m8 suppose for m8 this function is not known this means this function can have a value of 1 also or can have a value of 0 also so if this mean term m8 is going to affect f function either in 0 way or 1 way that means either it is it can have value 0 or 1 so then we place it like in don't care condition so suppose m8 and m14 are the mean terms that can have one value or zero value also but it is not defined whether it is zero or one then we call it like it is in don't care condition so for minimization of the uh, literals or the minimization of the function f we can use this uh, don't care functions also don't care conditions also for minimizing if it is given into the question or it is any function is there that is defined in terms of uh, don't care values also then we will be using this don't care condition for simplifying or for simplifying this function in terms of expressions okay so this is the basic of our k map now we will uh, see the minimization part so in minimization part basically we will start with so we already know any function is there so this function can be written into product of some form or sum of product form so we know sop and pos product of sum sum of product so if we take an example so suppose any function is there f that is a bar b plus a b plus a bar c or it is a bar b bar suppose this is the function it is a b 
is the only variable that means it is only taking the two variables that means we for more simplification we can write like f is function of a and b so this is the function so this is written in terms of like it is sum of product term so these are product terms it is sum of product term so it is of sop form so another function we can take is like suppose any function is there this is f1 f2 is there that is for a and b only so suppose it is a plus b then a bar plus b bar plus a bar b so this representation of the function f2 is called pos form that is product of sum so sum is this and then all the sums are being product been multiplied so it is a product of sum form so if a function is written in sum of product form or product of uh, sum form we will be seeing like how we can simplify or minimize its uh, uh, get requirement or the function how the function can be minimized so get one minimization we will be taking place based on sop and pos form so first we will see if a function is defined in sop form that means sum of product form so suppose if sop type of function is there and it is of two variable it is having only two variables so if it is having a two variable that means a function is there a and b it is given like the above function we can take a bar b plus a b plus a bar b bar so this is how the function is defined so now we know already how the k map is defined for two variables so for two variables the k map is defined like it is having four different boxes so one variable on this side one variable on this side so if a is taken here so initially a is with 0 or 1 or we can write like first term will be representing a bar and this is a this is b bar and this is b or this is 0 or 1 either of these two representation we can write here okay so for your simplicity you can put any value so if this is the case we will be seeing like how this a and b is written so this a and b is defining the function f so it is a bar b so a bar b is this one so where this mean term is there we will be putting 1 so now we will be putting 1 a b a b is a b is this so we will be putting 1 here a bar b bar so a bar b bar is this so we will be putting 1 here so at whatever the mean term is available into this function we will be writing one there if it is written in sop form okay now here so the rule basically says is now we need to start making the pairs okay so we will be starting if it is two variable so we will be starting with making a pairing so rule says make pairs so here we need to make pairs so pairing will be done either in horizontal or in vertical only okay so we cannot take diagonal pairing only horizontal or vertical pairing is allowed so here we will be making the pairing so pairing of two so pairing can be done make pair pairing can be done of other two mean terms vertical or horizontal or four main terms vertical or horizontal or eight main terms or 16 main terms we can take this type of pairing if suppose there is no pairing then also we will be considering that main term only okay so if one pair has we have made if there is a possibility of making the another pair even though the one this mean term is being repeated for making the pairing then also we will be making the pairing so this is another pairing 
so with respect to first we make the pairing so once we have made the pairing with respect to that what will be the variable what will be the uh, literals that will be explaining this main terms we will be writing so function f now after making the pairing we will be minimizing we will be writing the uh, variables that is going to uh, minimize while uh, solving for this minimized or reduced uh, variables so yeah this for this pairing whatever this variable is there in this variable is a bar so we will be writing a bar multiplied by the variable coming here so this is taking those two so b plus b bar so it is going to be like b bar plus b so a bar multiplying b bar plus b plus so this is so the expression with respect to this color so here one is there one is there so b bar is there or we can just take the vertical side so this is a and a bar is there so both are there so a plus a bar will be there multiplied by the variable that is across this vertical line that is b so this is b now we will solve it so it is a bar now it is b bar plus b b bar plus b is 1 plus a bar and a a bar and a if we add it or and it it will be 1 dot b so it is a bar plus b so after simplification this function has become a bar b okay i hope you have got so first you we need to draw the k map then we need to put the mean terms there and then after putting the mean terms we need to make the pairing so make the pairing is so pairing will be done either possible pairing of two mean terms or four mean terms eight or sixteen mean terms so for two variables only two or four will be allowed so suppose any function is there so just take another question suppose a function is there such that it is having this is a bar a b bar and b and this function is defined for all the mean terms that means it is defined like that so here we should be making the pairs so pairing should be done either pairing of two or pairing of four so if pairing of four is being observed or the pairing of four is available we will be making the pairing of four we will not doing the making of a pairing of two so we will do the pairing of four so if we do the pairing of four then the function that is a and b variables are there so we can just write like a plus a bar a plus a bar multiplied by multiplied with b plus b bar so from there a plus a bar is 1 multiplied by b plus b bar is 1 so overall it is 1 that means this function is including all the mean terms so this function will be defined by 1 so if all the mean terms are defined within a function that function will be equals to 1 itself okay and if suppose any function is there that is having only one or suppose a function is there it is b bar b a bar a suppose it it only takes two uh, mean terms and these mean terms are here and there so these are the mean terms so with respect to that there is no possibility of pairing we can't do pairing vertical pairing or horizontal pairing because there is no uh, one here or no one is here so for this also we can can't do any vertical pairing or any horizontal pairing so there is no one available here and here so there is no pairing possible so whatever this function is there so that function will be defined by like we will be making the pairing of one itself so we'll be making the pairing of this only and this only separately so with respect to that if we make the pairing here so it is going to do the expression is like a across this one a and vertically it is b b bar it is a dot 
b bar will be there. Plus, this is going to give a bar into b, a bar into b. So the function that is explained by it is a pre-minimized, you can say. So there is no need to minimize this function because it is already a minimized function. For three variable function, we will be taking an example. Suppose example is three variables means a, b, c is the variables that is defined like a bar b c plus a bar c bar a b bar c bar plus a b c plus a bar c suppose this is the function and we need to draw its uh, k map so the, for three variables the k map is defined like that so one variable we will be taking on vertical side and two variables like b and c we can take on the horizontal side so it is 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 here it is 0 and 1 so with respect to that it is a bar bc means 0 1 1 is there 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 so it is m3 m4 m7 and m5 so we can take that also we can put one where this function is mean term is available so it is 0 1 1 is here so 1 will be here next is 1 0 0 it is 1 0 0 this one is there 1 1 1 all are 1 here 1 0 1 so 1 0 1 it is this so this is the mean term representation so there are four terms so four terms are here also okay now what do we need to do now we need to do pairing so pairing first of all we will be searching for highest pairing so highest possible pairing that uh, we can do is two only here so here one pairing will be this one and another pairing we can do is this one so we need to make the pairing so that all the mean terms is covered we can't left any mean term without a pairing we have to make the pairing if the pairing available if there is no pairing in the previous case like so there was no chance of pairing so we have not done any pairing but if there is a chance of whatever uh, mean terms available we have to make the pairing so maximum possible pairing is two uh, mean terms only so with respect to that now we will be starting with the expression so it is for this pairing this one is defined by a this is a bar so if it is a so it will be writing a into a into these two so these two are available so in between these two whatever is the common we will be taking so common means it is 0 0 means it is b bar c bar it is b bar c it is b c it is b c bar so in between these two whatever is the common so we have already seen in the previous cases like what we were doing is basically we were considering both so b bar and b we have added okay or if this is the case here it is again adding so just go with the uh, full method like a bar uh, sorry a dot then we will be adding these two so it is b bar c bar plus b bar c plus for this term it is like b c or b c multiplied by these two terms will be added so one uh, a plus a bar so it is a if we simplify it b bar we can take common so we can take b bar common so it is c plus c bar plus here b c a plus a bar is 1 so it is 1 so it is coming out like a dot b bar so c plus c bar is 1 so we need not write so this is the simplified one okay so in shortcut also we can just write so we need we need not to follow the step again and again what we can directly write is from the expression it itself we can write if this is the mean term 
with respect to that it is a so a will be there in between these two we will be taking the common which one is the common so b bar c b bar c uh, b bar c bar b bar c so in between these two common is b bar so we will be taking a dot b bar plus next one is in between this we have to take bc so bc will be as it is and here if these two both terms are added means a a bar is added that means it will be one again so it is a the same will be there so if both terms have been included means a plus a bar will be there so a plus a bar is always one so there is no need to consider we need to consider only this part then if both have been included so this will be the answer with respect to that we can get some uh, conclusions like we can conclude some point so conclusion is if only one square is there if only one square is there then it will be representing one min term so one square is representing one min term one square is representing one min term if we have made the pairing if we have made the pairing instead of two min terms we are reducing one min term only one min term will be represented so if we make the pairing of four so instead of four min term it will be reduced to one min term okay so this is how we do the pairing and the pairing affects the uh, reducing the mean term so here conclusion we can just made is if one one square is there so it will be representing one mean term and in case of three variable this one mean term will be giving you out three variables or three literals second we can conclude is if two square is there so this two square will represent two square will represent two square will two uh, adjacent uh, two adjacent uh, squares are there it will represent one mean term only but it will be having giving only two variables if three uh, no there will be no three it will be four if four adjacent squares are there it will basically represent it will basically represents one mean term this will be giving only one variables next is like if eight if eight adjacent squares are there it will be representing one mean term and it will be giving no variable or it will be giving function is equals to one so we have already seen this is the case of three variable case so if it is two variable case if all are four uh, sorry all uh, four uh, variables are there uh, four mean terms are there in a square that means uh, in uh, uh, four mean terms we have considered for the uh, case here so four distance squares are going to give one variable in case of three uh, variable case and four squares pairing is going to give one for the function in two variable case the similar conclusion we can make in the three variable also so this is the conclusion next we will see some questions based on that so you just in one question so we will uh, further uh, check for another questions like if suppose a function is given a b c so it is a bar b c plus a b c b bar c bar plus 
a b c a bar c if this is the case we can define a bar a this is b c bar b bar c b c this so now we can just write a bar b c a bar b c is this yes a bar b c is this one one a b bar c bar a b bar c bar a b c a b bar c a b bar c the previous question was the same yes okay so i have seen yeah this was the case of previous question also okay we can just okay so no problem so we have seen this so one point we can see here yeah so pairing we have made here and here but one thing we can see is there is a possibility of pairing to this also there is a possibility to have a pairing of this also so this pairing so we will be making sure right like uh, all the mean terms should be included while doing the pairing so by doing these two pairings we are able to consider all the possible uh, mean terms into this pairing part so there is no need to do this extra pairing so if we do extra pairing extra term will be there into the function so this extra pairing that is no, that is not required is called uh, redundant this is called this is called redundant uh, pair or we can call it a redundant term this is called redundant term so there is a redundant term also and these are the essential terms essential pairing is there need to be done so this essential pairing is called essential prime implicant so these are required so these are called essential prime implicate simply cans essential prime implicants and each mean term is called one implicant okay so there are implicant so each mean term will be representing one implicant so there are four mean terms so four impl implicant will be there and essential prime implicants means those pairings that are must to consider all the possible uh, implicant or main terms and one also term is there called prime implicant these are redundant, uh, redundant term or we can call it like uh, this is there is no need to uh, write mean terms with respect to that because it is redundant one is called prime implicant so prime implicant is basically indicates a product term basically that is ob obtained by combining the maximum possible uh, number of adjacent uh, squares so maximum possible number of adjacent squares by combining uh, any number of uh, adjacent squares if we are going to make a pairing whatever the possible pairings can be done that is called prime implicant okay so here we can see the pairing can be done this way this way and one more pairing is that is redundant term will be there with respect to this pairing but there is a chance of pairing so the all possible type of pairing that can be there that comes under prime implicant so there will be one pairing second pairing and this is the third pairing so prime implicant here will be three okay so in sometimes in gate questions also or psus 
this type of questions is asked like who, how many prime implicants are there how many essential prime implicants are there or how many is implicants are there so implicants means whatever the mean terms are there all are called implicants so there are four mean terms so four implicant will be there prime implicants are whatever the possible combination of pairing is there that will be called prime implicant so there are one pairing two pairing and three pairing so there are three possible pairings are there so that's why it is three prime implicant but there is some essential pairings are there so that means we need to make this for sure so to consider this uh, one we have to make this pairing okay so to consider this one we have to make this pairing okay that means these two are the essential one and this one is not essential so out of the prime implicant only two are essential so essential prime implicant will be two so always prime essential prime implicant will be less than or equal to prime implicant so prime implicant will be considering the extra terms also that uh, is possible but there is no use of that then also that will be a prime implicant so up to here we have uh, solved some uh, two variable and three variable uh, function related minimization problems if we are going to solve uh, minimization related problems we have to follow certain procedure so that procedure we will see now what are the different procedures are there so these procedures include the first term is first step is first of all we will be searching for an octet octet means the maximum possible uh, octet the maximum possible in case of three variable so if a three variable is there the maximum possible uh, pairing that we can do is if all the uh, squares have ones if all the squares is having one then maximum power uh, pairing that we can do is of eight squares so that is called an octet so we will be searching for octet first okay so what is the advantage of opting for octet it is it eliminates all the three variables if an octet is there it will be eliminating all the three variables there will be no variable that means the function will be equals to one okay so the advantage of octet is it will eliminate it eliminates three variables the second one is after octet we will go for quad quad means four so now the quad means four four means if four squares four adjacent squares are having one so we will be searching for a four making a quad if quad we have ever we are able to make then it will eliminate here it was eliminating three variables so uh, the quad will be eliminating two variables eliminating two variables means out of a b c two variables will be remo uh, removed that means only one variable term will be left okay so the next one is third one once we have opted for uh, octet there is no octet then we will be searching for quad if there is no quad then we will be going with the pairing now we will do the pairing so pairing will be of two mean terms two adjacent squares so basically this eliminates it will be eliminating one variable that means two variable term will be left after reducing this paired term next one is fourth so suppose we are having the fourth term so this fourth term is basically going to get like once we have done the octet quad and pairing now we will be going with single term so here we will be looking for any single term is there or any single mean term is there okay so if we are having any single term into our kmap then it will not be eliminating any variable so here no variable is 
eliminated so as it is un unable to eliminate any variable so we will be uh, we will not be considering single term we will be basically searching for other pair quad or octet if octet pair quad and pair is not available then we have to make the single term uh, we will be considering single terms okay the next is remove any redundant term is there so if any redundant term is there we have to remove that that means we need not to include into the expression of the function so if we are going to consider the uh, redundant term then there will be the possibility like instead of reducing we will be able to increase the variable or increase the gate requirement logic gate requirement for implementing that particular function so we will be basically removing the any redundant term that is available to the key map so now once we have gone with uh, this terms we will take some examples further so just consider any function f is there that is represented in terms of 1 3 6 and 7 so here it is very easy to uh, solve okay so we will be able to solve it easily by using uh, the method that we have seen okay so we will be drawing the k map so into that k map three variables are there suppose a have we have considered here so it is 0 and 1 b c we have considered here so it is 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so here this is this indicates 0 1 2 and 3 mean term this is 4 5 6 and 7 so it is 1 3 6 and 7 so 1 means here we have to make 1 is there 3 3 is here 6 6 6 6 is here and 7 7 is here okay so now we need to do the pairing so pairing suppose we have done the pairing here then if we do the pairing here suppose we have done the pairing here and now we need to write the function suppose we and in, this is separate this is separate now we want to write the function so function will be this is separate and this is separate we have not done the pairing so if we are going to write here so it will be a bar this is b bar c so it will be a bar b bar c plus in this case this is both are there so it will be a plus a bar will be 1 1 multiplied by bc so it is bc plus this term is a a dot this is b c bar b c bar so the function is having a bar b bar c plus b c plus a b c bar so this was the one so suppose we have not the pairing like that we are going to have the pairing in some other way so suppose some other way is like suppose this is the pairing and another one is this one. so first of all we will be searching for pairing of octet so octet is not available we will be searching for pairing of four terms so there is no four squares that is having one so uh, quad is also not possible so now we will be searching for pair so pairing we can then do here or we can do here or we can do here also okay so if suppose we have done the pairing here also extra pairing we have done this also so there are three different pairings we have done so with respect to that if we write the function so now the function will be with respect to that it is a bar multiplied by common between these two so common is this one the last term the c term is common so it is a bar c plus this is there so it is both terms are in a and a bar plus will be added so it will be one so one dot bc one dot bc plus for this term it is a a dot common between these two so common between these two is b so a dot b so it is a bar c plus bc 
plus AB. So this is the case. Suppose we have suppose we have uh, one thing from there we can just see like this second second uh, the pairing done by this color this pairing was not required basically even without this pairing also we are able to just then two here okay so be, without this pairing also we are able to consider all the implicants or all the uh, mean terms so we are able to mean uh, consider all the mean terms so with respect to that the new function if we want to write like here with respect to that it will be a bar and c plus with respect to that it is a into b so compare all the functions so if this was having three different terms so that means extra required greatest will be required and these three different variables are there it is also in three different terms so extra gate is required also to implement so it is having minimum number of terms so minimum number of terms means it will be requiring less number of hardware to implement the same function so this is the most preferred and it will be the correct one the simplified this is not the simplified one so in between these two if we compare it is having a redundant term okay so that redundant term here is this one bc so bc was generated because of this only so that was the redundant term so we should be minimizing the redundant term by not considering the that particular term okay for four variable kmap we have already seen the kmap that how it is being uh, drawn next we will be taking the example like four variables are there a b c d if a b c d is there and it is having the function like different mean terms are there so 0 1 3 5 7 8 9 11 13 and 15 so these are the different mean terms that is defining the function f so to implement its k map we have to draw the k map so four variables are there so we will be considering two variable a one side and two another side so here suppose it is a b and here c d so a b and c d so it is 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 now if we talk about the mean terms so it will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 will be here 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so once we have the given the mean terms we can write it in this way so 0 is available so for 0 we will be making 1 1 3 is also there 5 5 5 is here 7 7 is here 8 8 is here 9 11 13 13 is here 15 is here okay so if we talk about the four variable uh, k map there the procedure will be in the procedure of three variable we have considered the octet but in case of four variable the procedure we will be taking is we will be starting with pairing of 16 So if we will be looking for pairing of 16, then we will be looking for octet, then a quad, then for a pair, then for a single term, okay, and then we will be uh, reduce, reducing or, uh, uh, or identifying or removing the redundant term. So here looking for 16 so first of all we are looking for 16 pairing so there are 16 squares but 16 square pairing is not possible because all the uh, squares are not having one okay so this is rejected now we will be searching for octet so search for octet so there is 
a possibility of octet so here octet is possible so we will be making one octet pairing now this has been done next look for a quad quad means pairing of four so is there any possibility of making the pairing of four yes there is a possibility first of all we will not considering this like it is one pair but this once these main terms have already been considered by octet so there is no need to consider again but we can consider these mean terms if it is going to make octet or quad or pair next time if with the help of any of the mean term if we are able to make the quad we will be considering this but inside this quad we will not uh, inside this octet we will not be considering this this is an oct uh, quad because these mean terms have, have already been considered but now we can just see like this one 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 and this is one one so there are one one and one one so okay, we can make a quad like that also this is and this so by considering these two and these two so these two so these two and these two will be considered adjacent to each other okay so here this is a quad so this way we can make the quad also and if it is possible to make a quad by already considering the mean terms then we will be proceeding to make the quad okay but we cannot make the quad inside by taking the inside of the variables like main terms if suppose uh, one more extra ones are there so then we will be making this as a quad but we cannot make the quad here okay so the main terms that already have been covered we can take the help of them to make the quad or other uh, pair or up also but all the uh, mean terms of the octet cannot be considered for the pairing or uh, for the quad so that have already been covered okay so we will be uh, minimizing uh, not selecting that okay so this was we have already okay. so now we have made one quad and one octet and with the help of one quad and one octet we have we are able to consider all the ones then now we will be writing the function so with respect to the quad we can just consider so in between here this one and this one these two rows are being considered for quad so in between these two which one is common so this zero is common zero is common so zero means bar, b bar is common so in between this b bar is common so we will be writing b bar dot in these two are uh, vertical lines or columns been considered for quad so here 0 0 and 0 1 is there so in between 0 0 and 0 1 which one is common this 0 is common and this 0 is common in both both so this 0 indicates c bar so it will be b bar and c bar plus now we will be going with the octet so in that octet we can see like in the vertical one all a b all possibilities of, of a b is being considered so if we add all these it will be coming out to be one only it was like a plus a bar is coming out to be one similarly if we add a bar b bar plus a bar b plus a b bar plus a b if we add all this this is not there if we add this one this four terms it will be coming out to be one so if we add this one it will be coming out to be one so one multiplied by the term because of here so one multiplied by the common between these two so in between these two the second term is common that is d d is common so it is d so it is like b bar c bar plus d so from the above we can also see if we are able to make an octet so octet will be reducing the three variables so out of four variables, three have been reduced, only one is left for the four variable term. Okay, and also for three variable term, the three variables will be uh, reduced. So three variables are reduced means only 
uh, one is left but in case of four variable term if octet is there it will be able to reduce three variables only one variable is left if a quad is there if four variable case quad is there that will be able to reduce two variables only two variables will be left okay so the final simplified one is b bar c bar plus d in case of four uh, variable function is there okay so this is how we need to uh, do the uh, minimization and one more part we will consider is like suppose we have the implementation with respect to the uh, don't care also suppose we have a function abc we have not considered the don't care consider condition so suppose we have a don't care condition like suppose a function is defined by 0 1 5 and 6 and it is having a don't care fun consider con condition like 3 and 4 so it will be summation of don't care so in that case it is having three variables so for three variable they will be considering the k map okay so the zero this will be going to have zero one this is one two three four five is here six and seven so six is here okay so this was the four main terms and these are three and four don't cares are there so zero one two and three three is here so this is don't care four four is also there so four we will consider so don't care will be represented by x so okay to solve this type of cases it is a bar a b bar c bar b c uh, b bar c b c b c bar okay so now we will be again looking for octet so there is no octet possible so now octet is not possible now we will be going for quad so we will be looking for quad and in making octet quad or pairing we can consider don't care okay so with respect to that we will be looking for the octet so now we can just see like here we can make a quad quad means four adjacent squares pairing so here one quad is possible so we will be making the quad so quad is possible one quad is possible the next we will be looking for a pair so pair we will be doing so pairing we can do so here it is separate but to make the pairing we can consider this like from this and this this is one pair so pairing can be done this way also and pairing can be done with the help of don't care okay and now one thing like this don't care have been left and don't care is like it can be 0 or 1 so we need not to consider it if it is providing a separate term if we will be providing this separately it will be an extra term there in the function okay so just consider uh, all the ones have been considered so now what is the function so function will be with respect to that quad a plus a bar it will be one dot in between these two common is there that is b bar plus in this case this is and this so a dot a dot in between these two which one is common c bar is common so a into c bar so this was without considering this okay now without uh, don't care we can just consider like so this is without don't care so suppose with the don't care so if we include this don't care suppose we include this don't care and this is we have made the pairing like that so if we include the don't care in that case the these two terms will be as it is there will be an extra term because of this so here it is a bar into common between these two is c so it is coming out to be b bar plus a c bar plus a bar c so this term is going co coming out to be extra term it was not required because 
डोंट केयर डजेंट अफेक्ट द फंक्शन इट इज ओनली द एक्स्ट्रा टर्म और इट इज इट कुड बी जीरो और वन इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू डिफाइन टू एफ ओके सो टू मेक द पेयरिंग वी विल बी कंसिडरिंग डोंट केयर ओनली इफ इट इज एबल टू मेक एन ऑक्टेट आर क्वाड आर अ पेयर टू रिड्यूस द फंक्शन सो वी कैन नॉट कंसिडर डोंट केयर विद एन अदर वन इफ दैट पर्टिकुलर वन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन कंसिडर्ड ओके सो दिस इज एन रिडंटेंट वन सो दिस इज रिडंटेंट टर्म सो वी विल बी नेग्लेक्टिंग दिस रिडंटेंट टर्म ओके सो आई होप यू हैव गॉट द पॉइंट नाउ वी विल कंसिडर द केस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम फॉर्म्स ऑल्सो सो just take an example so suppose a function is defined in terms of two variables so it is given like a plus b a bar plus b bar a bar uh, a plus b bar if this is the case okay so now it is a two variable k map so we will be drawing a two variable k map so in that case in sum of product case it was 0 and 1 okay so it was 0 is explaining about a bar so now in this case we have to consider a bar downside and this is a that means this 0 will be for a and a bar will be for 1 okay so similarly here also it is b and this will be b bar so with respect to that we can just see what we can write is a plus b so a plus b is there so a so in the sum of product we were doing is this dot this we are doing but now we will be doing a plus b so here a plus b is explaining this term so this will be zero instead of ones we will be making it a zero so a plus b will be zero so instead of one we were writing in sum of product terms but now in product of sum we will be writing one instead of zero uh, sorry zero instead of ones so, okay so it is a bar plus b bar so a bar plus b bar is this one so we will be writing zero a plus b bar so a plus b bar so a plus b bar is this one so we will be writing zero here okay so once we have uh, drawn the k map and filled the main terms now we will be making the pairing so the pairing concept is same so whatever the possible pairing is there we will be making either four or two so here two pairings are able to make so the function reduced function will be this one so here a this here only one term is there a this is uh, common between so a plus a plus b into b bar so here we were adding but here we will be multiplying so it will be b plus b bar or b dot b bar multiplied by these two terms so these two terms are like a we were in in between these two we were we were taking common or we were adding but now if these two are included we will be multiplying a into a bar a into a bar plus it will be added with this term that is b bar so we will simplify it so it is b into b bar is equals to 0 so this will be 0 and this a into a bar is equals to 0 is it so it is a plus 0 into uh, this one is 0 so it is 0 plus b bar so we can simplify it like a into b bar is that means the simplified function will be a into b bar okay so i hope you have got the point the next example we will see so suppose we have a function given like in terms of 
max terms it is written 0 2 and 3 so a and b only two variables are there so with respect to that so this is your a will be there a bar b b bar so it is 0 2 4 is there that means the function will be 0 means here this will be indicating your uh, 0 0 1 2 and 3 so 1 is not included 2 is included and 3 is included now we will be making the pairing so pairing will be one pair here another pair here so with respect to one pairing this one a dot a bar a dot a bar plus b it will be multiplied by a bar plus these two terms both terms are included means it will be b dot b bar so it is this one is 0 so it is b dot this is 0 means a bar so it is a bar b ok so similar we can go with the three variable case also if we consider a three variable function so suppose three variable function is defined by like not summation it is product product of max terms so it is 0 1 3 5 and 6 if this is the function if we want to go with three variable k map okay so here it is a and this is screen b so it is this will be a and this will be a bar now while writing the b bar terms so the here it will be b plus c next one is b plus c it was initially it was 0 1 so if it is 1 is there so for 1 it will be complemented it was 1 1 so 1 1 was there both will be complemented in case of uh, uh, sum of product terms it was 0 a uh, 1 0 so 1 0 means 1 and 0 1 means complemented so this one will be complemented so it is going to explain 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so 0 means a 1 means a bar so this is we have already seen in case of uh, this product of some terms so here G, 0 will be indicating a and 1 will be indicating a bar okay so this is how we have uh, retained the k map now we have to fill the data fill the mean terms so this mean terms are 0 1 so here again that will be there 0 1 2 and 3 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so we need to fill 0 1 3 5 and 6 so 5 and 6 okay so i hope you have got the point now we need to make the pairing so first of all we will look, look looking for octet there is no octet now we will be looking for quad there is no possibility of quad also now we will start with pairing so there is the pairing so we should be making the pairing so that all the zeros can be considered so to consider this zero this way there is no zero so we have to make the pairing here also here only for this considering we have to make the pair this way also and for including this we have to make the pairing here and for this zero we are not able to make any pairing either way so we will be leaving as it is so only one terms the function now will be given by like this one is there so a is there so a plus a plus in between these two whatever is the common so in between these two 
the common is uh, or common that we will be uh, depicting is like b b is common so it will be b okay i hope you have got the point or if you don't want to uh, go with the shortcut you can just see like we have to multiply these two that means if this is we are considering this term and this term will be multiplied so b plus c multiplied with b plus c bar so if we expand it further so it is b b into b will be b only so it is b c bar plus c b bar plus c into c bar is equals to 0 okay so from there we can just simplify it further you can just see in between these two b is common so b plus b is common c plus c bar so c plus c bar is 1 so it is b plus b again it is coming out to be b so b has been written so this is after simplifying it you will be getting the b only but the overall the idea is in between these two which one is common so b plus c b plus c bar in between this b bar is a uh, b is common so we will be taking b now consider the second term so suppose take this one so it is a a in between the this one this one and this one which one is common so c bar is common so it will be a plus c bar now consider this pair for this pair a into a bar a into a bar plus b plus c bar okay b plus c bar for this we have to write like a bar plus this both will be considered like b bar plus c so now we can just write like a plus b a plus c bar this is zero so it will become b plus c bar here it will be a bar plus b bar plus c three different terms are will be there so this is the simplified one in case of three variable case okay so similar we can do the uh, four variable case also okay so i hope you have got the point like how we have we are doing the simplification and one more we can just see is five variable so with the help of kmap up to four variable we can do easily but up to five variable we can do okay so for five variable the kmap is defined by like so for four variable we have already seen the kmap that means the suppose five variables are any function is there a b c d and e and that is having some mean terms okay so its k map is defined by like this it is having two it is having two mean term or uh, two 16 squares mean terms So this was the MSB and this is LSB. So whatever is the MSB or either of the term you can take. So suppose this one is indicating A and this is indicating B bar or sorry A bar. Then we have to consider BC here, DE here, BC here, DE here. So for different BC combinations, it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. For different DE combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So same is here. So it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay. So if A, it is depending A or we can call it A is equals to here. We can write like here a bar and this way we can write a so if a is a bar it is representing this block this uh, uh, 16 blocks are representing the a bar then it is representing the zero like so it is zero 
so here this is a that means it is representing one okay so if this for all this 16 blocks are there 16 squares are there that means for all it is zero a is zero okay so if five variables are there a b c d e so the different combinations will be 2 to the power 5 that means 32 possible combinations will be there between a b c d so if a is 0 16 possible combinations will be there if a is 1 16 possible combinations will be there so we have separated it out like this 16 representing for a equals to 0 and this 16 represents a equals to 1 so total overall 32 we have got now we need to proceed with the example so this was the case like we are considering the five variable case now take an example of five variable case so suppose uh, the example we will be taking like in that suppose this is defined by the variables like uh, 0 2 4 6 9 13 21 21 23 25 29 and 31 suppose these are the different mean terms in this case so different mean terms will be defined like here it will be 0 this will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 this will be 12 13 14 and 15 and then after 15 16 will be here so this will be explaining the 16 because a is 1 and all others are 0 so it will be explained 16 then this is 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 this is 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 and 31 so this was the KMF for five variables. So in between that, now we have the mean terms. We will be placing the mean terms. So now zero. For zero, we will be placing one. For two, two is here. Four, four is here. Six, nine, 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 thirteen, twenty-one, twenty-one. This one is twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five. Yes, 25 is here, 29 is here, 31 is here. Okay, so we have placed all the mean terms. Now we need to do the pairing. So pairing starts with here, we will be starting with 32 pair. So 32 pair is there is no 32 pairing is there. Now we will be going with 16. 16 is also not possible. Now we will go with 8. 8 is also not looking like here now we will go with 4 that is quad so quad is possible so quad 1 quad is able to here we will be able to form here 1 quad another quad we can just form is like this one okay now there is no further quad we can form and now after quad we have to make yeah one uh, once we have uh, done the quad now one quad we can further include is like we can consider this one if we superimpose this uh, all 16 over here this and this can make a quad but even if we are not able to make the quad then also we can uh, simplify it we can simplify it with the help of uh, pairs also suppose this is one pair and this is another pair so with respect to that we will be writing the expression okay so the function will be this is a one quad so in between these two common is b bar so b bar is common so first of all it is a bar this is explained for a bar so a bar into b bar b bar is common in between these two 0 0 1 0 e bar is common 
okay plus if we consider this quad so here common is c so it is defined for a into c it is a into c okay multiplied by these two common in between these two common is there that is e e is common now the next term is if we consider only this if we consider only this it will be a bar into in between these two common is b in between these two b was common and here it is d d bar e d bar e next one is we can consider this one for this one it is a in between these two common is b into in between these two it is only d bar e so just consider these two terms so in between these two terms we can just see b d bar e is common then it will be a bar plus a so a bar plus a will be one so it will will resulting into b d bar into e that means it is nothing but this and this are going to make a quad so if it is going to make a quad this term will be coming out we can make a quad in out of this or we can separately consider these two and then the result will be same so it is coming out to be a bar b bar e bar plus a c e plus b d bar e so this is for the five variable function this is how we can simplify it okay so up to here we have considered the minimization of uh, 2 3 4 and 5 variable uh, function but before going for minimization we need to make sure our function suppose a function is there of uh, two variable so a comma b two variables are there it is written like a b plus suppose it is written a a bar b plus a if this is the function is written so we cannot go with minimization of this or suppose we have done the key map how what are the different mean terms are there we are not able to depict what are the different mean terms that we should be representing here in the key map so whatever the function is written first of all we have to reduce this or first of all we have to expand this function such that it should be written in it should be written in its mean terms form okay then only we can proceed with the putting the mean terms into the k map so whatever the function is given first of all we have to convert the function into in its respective mean terms okay then only we will be able to put the function into the expression for minimization suppose we have a function that is defined by like a b plus b c plus a c this is the function of three different variables so if we want to proceed we can't directly put into the k map that means if this is the k map for three variable so where a b should be there we are not able to put so we have to that means this is in standard form this is in standard form but to represent the function into the k map we have to convert convert to the canonical form canonical form means the function should be written in its mean terms format or max term so if it is in mean term or max term then only we will be able to uh, put the values mean term or max term into the k map so 
before proceeding with the solving uh, the function or the minimizing the function using the kmap we have to convert the function into its canonical form okay so here to convert this function into canonical form that is ab plus bc plus ac we have to uh, write like each term should be considering constituting all the variables so there are three variables so each term should be written in its all the three variables that will be your canonical form so to write that so first term c is missing so we will be writing like we will be multiplying by the term c into c bar we have already seen this okay so now it can c plus c bar is one so a b multiplied by one will be not affecting any uh, not doing any effect on the function okay similarly in b c a is missing a term is missing so a plus a bar we will be multiplying into bc similarly ac is missing the b term so a b plus b bar into c we will be multiplying with this term. now we will be expanding it so it will become abc plus abc bar plus a b c a bar b c now a b c a b bar c so now we can see a b c a b c a b c which is three times so we can write for one time a bar c a b c bar a b c bar no there is no further repetition a bar b c a bar b c is not repeated again that is a b bar c a b bar c so now so now you can just see the function is written in different mean terms that is constituting all the three variables so now it is in canonical form so if it is in canonical form we can write it in a, in respect to mean terms so it is like a b c is there so it is 1 1 1 a b c bar is there 1 1 0 a b c means 0 1 1 a b bar c 1 0 1 is there so this is m7 m6 m3 m5 now we can write like in mean terms it is 3 5 6 and 7 if this is there now we can proceed with the mean terms so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so now 3 5 6 7 so 3 5 6 7 so now we can proceed with the solving okay so now we can do the pairing so this is one pair this is another pair and this is another pair with respect to that whatever the function will be there we will be writing it so the function will be nothing but this only means it was the simplified one okay but this is how we should be proceeding okay so before proceeding we should be writing the function into canonical form then only we will be proceeding to solve uh, with the help of kmap so this is all about the kmap and uh, with the help of kmap we can minimize the functions